I like your funny words, Magic Man. The term good girl immediately turns me into a melty pile of girl jello, particularly when growled in my ear and accompanied by a hand around my throat. Give me a sip, tell me what you can, give me the dick. Me, set me, told me, bite me. Oh, wait, I. Um, can I be your friend? Of course you can be my friend, sweetie. Thank you. I won a contest. I won the MTV Ultimate Rockstar Dream Vacation Contest, and I get to interview bands here. Oh, that's what's going on. Mmm, these crab cakes are good as a mug. I fucks with these crab cakes. I'm tearing these bad boys up. Melt. That is legit the same Tupperware I give my five-year-old daughter for school every day. What are you saying? Say, I, say, say it again. Tupperware? Say it again. Slow. Tupperware? Slow. Very slow. Say, first, say the first syllable. Tub. Wrong. <laughs> New to BDSM and trying to find a dom, here are the red flags I look out for. I know we just met, but get on your knees, bitch. Right to jail. It is a red flag if a dominant immediately assumes a dynamic without prioritizing a two-way negotiation first. Even if it's pickup play, it's hugely important to spend time aligning first. I'm not like those other fake doms, I'm hard as fuck. Being hard or aggressive, mean or sadistic is not necessarily a requirement for being a real dom. There is no singular best way to be a dominant. So thinking like this shows a reductive and one-sided view of domination. You have to earn your safe words. Absolutely the fuck not. There is nothing cool or sexy about this. Withholding fundamental processes and mechanisms for safety within a scene is not okay. If they say this proudly, run. As a kingster and mommy dom for over five years, I feel like I've seen it all. There's bad behavior on all ends of the spectrum. Let me know if you want a part three. <laughs> you open this door right now. You're gonna kill me. Open it. <laughs> Open it right now. Little girl. Do you promise? 
I'm not promising anything. <laughs> then I can't let you in. You better let me in before I go get something to open this door. I swear. Bye. <laughs> I promise. Bye. <laughs> open the door. Okay, I don't know why it took me so long to get on this train, but I am here. This is for the girls whose partners pay for their nails and also pick out their nails. I get it. I get it now. To be fair, though, my husband pretty much pays for everything. I'm a stay-at-home mother. I only make money on this old clock app, and so I contribute very minimally financially, but, you know, his money is our money. Anyway, it's weirdly important to me that my nails are done. For some reason, I feel like I'm a little bit more presentable when they are that way. Anyway, so, like, the last time I went, before this time, he pulled out a picture and said, I want you to have these, and I did not even hesitate. That woke up my lady bits. I was like, yes, I will, I will put whatever you want on my hands. Just because you want to look at just because you want to look at it. Yes. Okay And then he just went today made an appointment for me told me that this was my appointment then brought up a picture and said I want you to have these and boom They're awake again. All of my lady bits are awake. He picked these out. I got disco ball fingers They look so good wrapped around it. Anyway, I I get it I, I don't know why I get it, but I get it. This is I I love this I will be returning with all the different nails that he picks out from time to time disco ball fingers. Okay. Love you. Bye Dude, just because we rip on you for being rich doesn't mean we don't like you. Yeah, we're guys, dude. We find something about all our friends to rip on. We make fun of you for being rich just like we make fun of Butters for being wimpy. They sure do. Yeah, like we rip on Kyle for being a Jew. Right. That's right, huh? And Stan for being in love with Wendy. Yeah, I get it for that. And Carmen for being fat. Uh-huh. And Carmen for being stupid. Yeah. And Carmen for having a whore for a mom. Hey. And Carmen for being a sadistic asshole. Hey, you gave me a... Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> It's time for another right-wing meme that's accidentally left-wing. This is the future liberals want. Absolutely. Sign me up, please. Yes. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm... Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Specifically, I'll be that one. When can we get this started? I... I'm, I... Yeah, please?